What is up, guys and gals? This is Fonz Rally Fellhand, and I has got a new tank. AMX 13105, something you could actually see me owning <laughs> way before I actually owned it. Uh, tier 10 light tank, nasty little piece of equipment here. I, you know, I haven't really played this a whole, whole lot. This is actually the first game, but I tend to like this a little bit more than the Bat Chat. It's more responsive, faster aim time, less, a shorter clip, shorter reload, obviously, but, you know, two less shells. I don't know. It's, I like it. Now, this is the very first game. We do okay our very first game, and the end is not necessarily, we don't go out with a bang, but if you know me and you know how I do business, the end of this game is fitting. <laughs> You'll see what I mean in a little bit later. Okay, so, back to the game. We are on Erlenberg here. And we are running across here to the castle. We want to try to get some early spots in. Top end on this tank is not necessarily stellar in regards to a lot of your faster mediums, your lights. But it does have good acceleration. It has the same small profile that we, we have come to know in the Bat Chat. Granted, this is a smaller profile even than the Bat Chat. Accuracy is slightly decreased. Aim time is increased. So you kind of lose some accuracy. You gain some aim time. Uh, you know, it is what it is. And they try to kind of balance the light tanks by kind of, you know, adjusting their aim time a little bit. Because you don't... Or not their aim time, excuse me, their accuracy. If you notice, a lot of the light tanks don't have stellar aim time accuracy. Whew. I'm getting confused. Accuracy. Uh, for example, I think the troll is 0.46, which is horrible, but it, it makes it work. I don't know. Go figure. It makes it work. It makes it happen. I enjoy that tank. It's flat. It's a pancake. But this has a mag, so maybe, <laughs> maybe I might like this one a little bit better. Camouflage value is pretty stout on it. As you can see here, I am, you know, 300 and some out, and we're we're putting rounds down range. And nobody has yet to spot me. Now, keep in mind, I do have 22 perks on this crew. I will kind of have to go over my crew at some point, just to kind of discuss what I have on here and why. Uh, you know, just to kind of get it all out in the open, because a lot of guys ask me sometimes what kind of perks I have, what kind what order it is, so to speak, what I like to have first, second, so on and so forth. And it used to be standardized until I realized certain tanks, it doesn't need to be standardized because, you know, each tank has its given role, obviously. So, yeah, it, it doesn't all need to be the exact same. So, anyway, what we're doing here, guys, we are not the front line, and the reason we're not the front line is we already have guys up there doing their thing. So, we, there's no benefit for us to be up there with them risking getting shot. Don't take unnecessary risks. And that just goes across the board, no matter what tank you're in. Now, as you can see here, we are kind of, we are beginning to lose this area, to lose this flank. They are, are locking down on it, and we need to go ahead and make an expeditious retreat. We may have some shots up here on top of the hill. We've got a D-Star. Try to make some track shots there. It's just not happening. Uh, we've got a 268 there. We're going to try to make some shots at him. He is not looking at us, although it looks like he's looking right at us. So, the entire three-round mag, just nothing. Did not pull a single pin from that. And sometimes it's going to happen. Sometimes a gun is going to troll you. You guys have seen footage of little old me in the bat chat firing five rounds and every single round goes wide. That's just how it is. There's nothing you can do about it. Now, a lot of guys also ask me they have problems with deciding when to reload, so on and so forth. Well, here's the deal. When you are going to know you're going to travel great distances, you need to dump the mag. If you know you're not going to be in a position where you're not going to have shots, Yes, dump the mag by all means. If you're if you're engaging at long range, keep the mag, even if it's one round. 
simply because there's not a whole lot of heat put on you and you're not going to have to defend yourself with a full mag so one round is adequate now we I thought we almost had a clicker here the house is in the way but it's fine uh, we can <laughs> we might be able to get that gen at some point the game is not going good for us as you can see here uh, we've got another shot at the D star here see if we can't pepper him up there trying to angle some shots in there took two shots at him it's just not happening it is just not in the cards for us to shoot at the Death Star, and that is fine. Sometimes, guys, you're going to go out there, and no matter what you do, it's just not going to work out for you. So, we are repositioning here. As you can see, our left flank is in a bad, bad way. I am flying through the air. This is not good. I'm rolling. Uh, things are happening. I need to get paratrooping, parachute skill on this, paratrooping skill, whatever it's called. I need it. I gotta have it. Moving on. Gun is up. We kind of came over here to strengthen up to solidify this corner here because our flank is kind of going and it's and it's going in a poor way here. Uh, we've got this guy right here lined up perfectly. You watched any of my uh, clutch shot blind fire? Not blind fire. Um, what what am I thinking? Um, no scoping. And there was three three areas where you want to actually lock on. And one, if the target is coming directly towards you or away from you, if they are tracked or if they run into something. And he was, in fact, going directly away from me, so there was no need to no-scope. We just locked on and plowed the rounds right into him. Because, guys, if you're ever in that situation, you need to break hard left or hard right. You don't want any freebies. And that's essentially what that was got a gentleman right here gonna try to put a round in him it's just it's not working out I do like the aim time aim time is I'm a big fan of the aim time I'm a huge fan of the aim time now as far as equipment on here guys we have a vertical stabilizer we have binos no excuse me we have optics and we have vents and the vents give us 5% across the board same as BIA, Brothers in Arms, BIA gives us 5% as well, so we're 10% across the board. Optics gives us an additional 10% to our spotting distance. Now, granted, of course, the hard cap is 445. You cannot see further than 445, although you can engage targets further than 445. You yourself cannot spot targets further than 445. However, um, you can perhaps, you know, burn through some of that camo counteract some of the camo there uh, there's another good auto lock we were in the six o'clock position he was going away from us and that's the thing guys a lot of times if you play your cards right you can set yourself up for a nice pretty auto lock because you know yes can you no scope yeah okay but you know should you have to if you play your cards right no if, if you get things situated correctly then you've kind of already got a step ahead Moving on, uh, the gun is almost up here. We're just kind of looking to to farm some damage. We have a tiger two over here. If we were in a bat chat, I'd say, you know what? Let's go over here. Let's speak pain to this gentleman. A uh, worst case scenario, he could shoot us one times. We would clip him out. But you also kind of have to be wary of his background. He is this gentleman over here, who is really not a fan of mine. We have kind of been exchanging rounds the entire game. And he, uh, you know, really wants to see me return to the garage. I will oblige him, just not now. Uh, we are falling back. The mag is empty. And th the difference I am noticing between this, the 13105, and the Bat Chat, the Bat Chat is pull up and just completely shut you down if you are anything reminiscently less than full health. This bad boy is more of shut you down if you're half health maybe <laughs> so th this is you have to have a very very delicate hand to make this happen uh, I'm gonna try to get rid of this gentleman right here fire two rounds decided what the heck maybe I should start aiming did not work out for me and the here comes what I refer to as my fitting end now like I said those of you that know me know this is exactly how 
I, I should go out on my first game in this tank. I, I would go down in here, I try to take some cover, I realized I'm stuck, and I'm like, you know what? I am I am going to die here. Uh, so, yes, I died. The E100 here, it did not go well for him either. But that's okay, because we didn't really expect that. Uh, they they ended up winning the game. Big surprise there. But first game in the AMX 13105. I dig it a lot. 3,023 damage, 47 assist. A whopping 47 assist, if I will. I enjoy this tank. Expect to see some more games of it. Um, at some point, I am going to pull the old crew out, stick it back in the bat chat, just to kind of... Go back and forth a little bit. I don't necessarily want to not run the bat because I really dig that bad boy. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. We will see you guys next time.